Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 25. Today, we're going to wrap up our series on referrals by showing you a way that you can actually track referral patterns, or simply put, a way to find out where agents are sending referrals to and from to kind of loosely determine migration patterns of the clients that they are sending back and forth. And so we're gonna do that through the referrals applet today. Referrals applet is the fifth icon down. So we're gonna click on that referrals applet and we are gonna go over to the map tab that we've been spending the last couple of days inside of. And so if I change this dropdown from production to referral patterns, two things will happen first the system will know where I'm located and basically put in the closest area or city to where I am. And second, you're going to see two things happen. One, this box, this, both of these boxes show up and the sent box is turned blue. In addition, on the right hand side, you're going to see 20 cities where agents inside our Houston market centers are sending referrals to for agents located across the US. And so if you are looking to find out what are the top five, top 10, maybe top 20 cities where clients are relocating to, you can use this as a rough gauge because essentially an agent in Houston sent a referral to an agent in Pearland. That most likely means that they had a client in Houston that was moving to Pearland. Now, not always the case. Sometimes we have expansion teams that you know work out of one hub, send the referral to another city, although that agent is that client is actually moving somewhere else but on a rough basis you can use this to determine migration patterns as far as the top five cities where people are moving from uh, excuse me moving to when they leave houston right so where are the agents sending the referrals to they're sending them to agents inside of pearland san antonio beaumont dallas college station as of right now now you see houston to houston some people may not understand that, but Houston is a massive metroplex. You can spend two hours driving in Houston and still technically be in the Houston area. So a lot of times we send referrals from agents in Houston to agents in Houston because we don't want to drive an hour and a half or two hours across town in traffic. Now this shows where people are moving to. However, if I meet with a seller and I'm looking to market their property and I tell that seller, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, I am looking to market your property in the top five cities where agents are moving, excuse me, clients are moving from, right? Where buyers are moving from when they move to the Houston area. We can switch this to received. You'll see the arrows now originate elsewhere in the US and then point back to Houston. And then this list on the right hand side shows, okay, these are agents in the Pearland market sending them to agents in Houston. Houston to Houston, Austin, Baytown, Katy, Dallas, Spring, Atlanta. So if I were to talk to sellers and I would say, hey, I plan on marketing your property in the Houston area. However, I'm also going to market it in the top cities where people are moving from, typically when they move to the Houston area. I might decide to market that property in Austin, in Baytown, in Katy, in Dallas, in Spring. Maybe you'll go all the way out to Atlanta. Right, so because if I can find buyers in these areas that are selling their homes and moving to Houston, then they might be even more qualified. And what's yet, if you know the difference between Austin area real estate right about now and Houston area real estate right about now, the average home price in Austin is significantly higher than that in Houston. So if you're selling a house in Austin to move to Houston, chances are you have significantly more funds to purchase that home with. And that might lead to a more qualified buyer with room to give you a better offer, you know, remove appraisal contingencies, that type of thing as well. So this essentially, we can do this any, right? We, we've been talking a lot about Cleveland, Ohio lately, so I can go to Cleveland, Ohio. I can see those same referral patterns. So typically where are the market centers that are sending referrals? Well, there you go. You can see them in California, right? A lot of people moving from California to Cleveland, Ohio. So there might be some connection there, either with the military or corporate. Um, and we can also do the opposite, right? So actually we had it on received. So now we're doing sent. Where are they moving to when they leave Cleveland? 
you can see the top cities where they're moving to when they leave the cleveland area and so this can be done roughly for any city as long as there's a market center in and around that area we can track those referral patterns which are then loosely tied to migration patterns of the clients that we work with via the referrals that we send to keller williams agents back and forth this is the first instance where the information that we are putting into kw command is coming back to benefit us as agents. Now, is Keller Williams tracking the specific names and dollar values and all that kind of stuff? No, right now it's just basically saying where did the referral start and where did the referral end? And now let's track all the referrals. So all the referrals that have been sent out of the Cleveland, Ohio office or offices over the last 12 months, what percentage of them have landed where? And you can see the top 3% go to Salon and Stowe. Then we go 2% down to Charlotte, Strongsville, Worthington, Atlanta, and so on and so forth. So it's a great way to really impact your marketing presentation when you're on a listing appointment to say that because I'm a KW agent partnered with over 172,000 agents nationwide, I have access to data that can assist me in the marketing of your property, including determining roughly the top five cities where people are moving from when they move to, right, in this case, Cleveland, Ohio, Houston, Texas, whatever it may be. That's it for today, guys. Day 25 of the 66 day challenge, wrapping up our series on referrals. And tomorrow we begin opportunities. I'll look forward to seeing you then. Thanks so much.